Wise Business is more than just an online payment gateway, it's an all-in-one global financial platform that can completely replace your business bank account. A Wise Business account only has one small sign-up fee and then you save on low international transaction fees, no monthly subscriptions, incredibly quick and instant transactions, integrations with leading accounting software and many more useful tools for streamlining business finances when operating internationally. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and dive into Wise for Business, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's get you up and running with Wise for Business. Okay, so to get started with Wise for Business, if you currently do not have a personal or business Wise account, simply head over to your browser and type in wise.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. And for those that already have a Wise personal account, what you want to do is simply log into your personal Wise account. Then navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on your profile and then locate open a business account and click here. Again this is for those that already have a personal wise account. Okay so to create a business wise account from scratch simply navigate up to create account. And all you need to create a business wise account is your business details and business address. Now it's important to note that it's completely free to create a personal wise account. However, for a business wise account, you do need to pay a one time small fee and this varies depending on the country that you're in. Then this gives you access to all of wise's business tools and features with no subscriptions or monthly fees. With a business wise account, you can convert currencies at the real exchange rate and send and receive over 50 currencies and send money using a virtual or physical wise debit card with zero transaction fees and low conversion fees and you can use this all around the world. Short term and long term your business will benefit by saving thousands on currency conversions compared to using a traditional bank or another payment provider. Most likely your traditional business bank account has monthly fees. Okay so to create your wise business account go ahead and add your business email. Then click next. Here we want to add the country that our business is registered in then click continue. Then add your phone number, then send verification code. Here we want to create a unique password and then click continue. Now depending on the country that you're in, you will need to add your business's registration number. For me, I can't find my business number so the other option is to add my business details. And once you've added your requested business details, go ahead and click on continue. Then go ahead and confirm your registered business address. Now to help WISE verify your business account details quicker, you want to make sure that you add the appropriate information in here. And once you've filled out these details, go ahead and click on continue. Here we want to confirm our trading address and then add your personal details. Make sure your details are correct and then click on save. And here we have two options for getting started with our WISE business account. To access all of WISE's business tools and features, you can see that there is a one-time payment fee and then you have access to all of these features. For New Zealand businesses, you can see that it's only a $40 fee. So I recommend getting started with this plan here. However, you can always get started with the essential features here and then upgrade at any time. So go ahead and select the right option for you. Now just quickly before I get back to this video I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now The Ultimate Small Business Playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners new and existing that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then here you have the option to make your first international payment. For now, we're going to navigate up to exit. And just like that, you'll be taken inside your WISE business dashboard. Now, if you see this message here, what you want to do is go ahead and verify now. Simply answer these questions. Then here you want to use your phone to verify your identity. You'll be asked to take photos of specific business documents and your face for verification. And you have these two methods down here. Simply take your time to add the appropriate details and then we'll meet you back inside your WISE account. 
And once you've verified your account, your Wise Business dashboard will look something like this. Now you'll notice on our dashboard, we have multiple currencies across here. When someone sends money to your account through a different currency, that currency account will appear in your dashboard. And you can see all your different currencies and the money that you have in those currencies across here. We can also navigate over to open and open additional currencies. Now when sending money overseas or domestically to a bank account or another wise account or different payment provider, you can choose the currency that you want to send that money in. You can also see recent transactions down here as well as your recent contacts. Now to send money, simply go ahead and click on send and I can choose if this is an international payment or same currency payment. Let's say my contacts in the US, so I want to send USD. I can then come down and schedule this payment or I can set up reoccurring payments. Then navigate over to continue. Here you want to add your recipient that you want to send money to or you can add a recipient up here. You can also search via name, email and phone. You can add the individual here or the business or charity. Then simply enter the organization's account details. You can simply select how you want to send that money through ACH, Wire or Swift. If we navigate down and after adding the account details associated with that recipient you want to send money to, just navigate down, add the recipient's address and then come down and click on confirm. And that's going to take you to a page where you just need to review your transaction. And once you've reviewed the details of that transaction, you can make the payment. And the details of that transaction will look something like this and you can see details about that transaction. For example, exactly how much you're sending, then the total fees, the guaranteed rate, the conversion rate, how much the recipient or the business receives, your balance, as well as the recipient's details, and then the schedule details. You can see that this is a one-time payment and we're sending it now, and it should arrive in this recipient's WISE account in seconds. However, this is just an example, so what I'm gonna do is head back to my dashboard. Now we can also navigate up to add money and we can deposit money from our own accounts into our WISE account. This could be from our business bank account in New Zealand, for example. I can also navigate over to request and request money from a business, a customer or client. Now, if we navigate over to the left hand side and click on card, this is where you can add and manage your WISE debit cards. If you currently do not have a card, simply go ahead and order a new card. And you can use this physical WISE debit visa card to make payments in a store overseas or in your own country or for making online purchases. And you also have the option to add a virtual card, meaning that you don't get sent a physical card. However, you have access to a digital card for making online payments with a digital visa debit card. Let's navigate over to recipients and here you can manage all your recipients. Next, we have manage. Here you can view, manage and share your account details so that you can get paid. You can also manage your direct debits as well as donations down here. Okay, so let's navigate back up to home. If we navigate over to the right hand side and click here, you can view and manage your business details. You can also manage your team, statements and reports, settings. You can access the help center and log out. And then down here, you can open another business bank account if you like. Okay, so let's click out of here. And that is everything I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you get started with a Wise Business account. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Wise Business tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about a Wise Business account, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.